Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to my weekly update. I've been at the Great Yorkshire Show this week and you can see from the stand behind me it's been absolutely packed all week and we've had a huge level of engagement with so many people. And right at the beginning of the week, uh, Mark Spencer as Food and Farming Minister announced the, the dairy contracts uh, finalisation, if you like. This has been a huge piece of work by our dairy board. It's progressed on a very slow journey through Parliament, but it is actually the first sector that will now really have uh, a way of, of not only moving a contract if, if you're not happy with it, but making sure that we have fair contractual relationships out there. So this is this is a blueprint for the future and incredibly important for pigs, for poultry, for growers. I've always called it a prerequisite of stepping back from direct support that we, we need to see a fair return for what we produce. And something that the Dairy Board has focused on for a long time is that we do have an ombudsman effectively uh, sitting there to make sure that this is going to be coordinated in a fair way and I was delighted that Mark Spencer said you know the Ombudsman will be a key part of all of this. So Mark Spencer joined us for, for quite a few different meetings. Therese Coffey has also been on stand as the Secretary of State. I was on a panel myself that was chaired by Adam Henson with Sir Robert Goodwill, Chair obviously of the EFRA Select Committee and Food Farming Minister Mark Spencer. So that was an hour uh, panel session. It wasn't all uh, agreeing by any manner of means. I mean, you know my thoughts on the current SFI model. Yes, much improved, but not where it needs to be. Um, but the, I, I can't knock the DEFRA team. Janet Hughes has been on here engaging, listening to everyone. But we, we've got to level up this agenda, and that is the point that I make to her. And in a meeting just now, with Paul Caldwell, the Chief Exec of the Royal Payments Agency, that we've got to level up between food production and the environment. And we're, we're a long way off that at this moment in time. We, we've got to get it right. So this is an amazing show. It's, it's been wonderful to be here. There's always a huge amount of press content that comes out of this show. And, and much of that is down to our regional press officer in this part of the world, Rachel Gilbanks, who I have to say is leaving the NFU. We owe her a huge debt of gratitude. We really, really do. And, and so everything that's come from this show is all down to her and the media guys in the NFU. You know, they are a vital, vital part of what we do. But as ever, wherever you are, please do take care. And I look forward to speaking to you again next week. Many thanks.